الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد We've made it guys say alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah what, Where have we made it to? Ramadan Ramadan is here Alhamdulillah Why do we say we made it? Because this month is a very special month You know the believers the, the, the people who like to worship Allah and believe in Allah They look forward to this month You know why? And we're going to study inshallah with Ramadan benefits With a hadith Every single Day, day Inshallah and um, in this series, we're going to find out why this month is so special with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has told us to fast. Allah has told us to pray. Allah has told us to increase in sadaqah. Allah has told us to increase in, what else has he told us? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. All good deeds increase in them. You know why? You know why? Because Allah accepts people into Jannah this month. And he saves people from the hellfire this month. If he likes it. If he's so kind to you, what he will do is say, from this day on, Muhammad Arif Ola, Sari Arif Ola, they are going to be from the people of Jannah from this day on. So that Ramadan will change your life. After this month, you will start becoming from the people of Jannah and acting like the people of Jannah. This person, I have written that he's going to be not from the fire. Him. This person. That's why this month is so special. And not only that, this month, not only does Allah record people from people Jannah, people of the Hellfire, or save people from the Hellfire, but Allah in this month will also multiply people's rewards. In one night is better than how many months? 1,000 years. 1,000 months. 108,900. Forget the, uh, for, for, um, complete the line. Khairun min. One night, yeah, is better than a thousand uh, months. That's why this month is important. What have I just mentioned? Number one. There's one day better than a thousand. Months. Number one. What did I mention? People who are going to Jannah. Number two, people will be saved from the hellfire. Number three, lots of good deeds that we don't normally do all year round, Num so that we can help ourselves to become better. If we've been lazy, if we've not been lazy, if we've not been doing enough. Number four, sit down, sit down. Number four, your reward will be extra. And number five, guess what, number five? Guess what, number five? What? The shayateen are locked, are locked up. up. What does that mean, the shayateen are locked up? In the headfire? So that means there's no shaitan in the earth right now. There's no bad deeds happening on the earth right now. Is that what it means? No. No, it doesn't mean that. We're going to look at that later on. But this all is showing us five things. Number one, people of Jannah. Number two, safe from the fire. Number three, extra good deeds. Number four, extra rewards. Number five, shayateen locked up. All of these are just some of the benefits of Ramadan. That's why this month is so special. And that's why it's the fourth pillar of Islam. What's the, and, first, and, what's the and, first pillar and, of Islam? Belief. And, and, and it's special because you get some toys. Yeah, at the end of it, if you're being good. Eat. But remember the rule. Put your hand up when you have a question. <laughs> right. So what's the first pillar? The first pillar is belief. Second pillar of Islam is? Tawheed. That's the first one. Belief. Tawheed. Iman. Ikhlas. First pillar. Second Tawheed. pillar is? Tawheed. That's the first one. Second Believe one. In, second uh, pillar of Islam. What is it? Believe in the angels. That's the first pillar. All of that's the first pillar. Man. What's the second pillar of Islam? Believe in Allah. That's the first pillar. What's the second pillar of Islam? Bunya al-Islam Allah khams Shahada Allah ilaha illallah Now what's the second? Wa Iqamati salah Yes, good Muhammad You said it in Arabic and you said it in English Iqamati salah Number two Quran Iqamati salah Wa Iqamati zakah To give in zakah and be helpful towards people and give charity Wa Sawmu Ramadan Wa Hajjul Bayt These are the five things that are needed for your person to be Muslim You need to have belief of Allah inside and you need to have actions outside And Ramadan has been made one of the pillars of Islam If you take Ramadan away then Islam is not complete There is no Islam anymore because if you have a house and one of the pillars fall down what's going to happen to the house? In the museum Like in the In That museum in Leicester New okay, 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 okay. Right, so now before we start, 
I believe you've got a special message, Saleh. Go on then. I want to say Ramadan Mubarak to everyone who listens, but especially to Yahya, Mariam and Avsa and Riyad. Louder, louder, louder. Wait, say that again. Let's start again, start again, start again. I want to say Ramadan Mubarak to everyone who listens, but especially to Yahya, Mariam and Hafsa and Riyadh, Sumeya, Abudi and Bey, Fatima, Fatima and Dahran, and little Isa A from Leicester. Good. Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. Right. Ramadan what we've got now, Ramadan. listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. What we've got now on these little um, cue cards, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one hadith at a time and then put it on our Ramadan benefits board these are all ahadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ahadith. What is a hadith? Uh, what the Prophet said. What the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. What the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. Or what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw people doing and he was happy with it. What's a hadith? What the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. What the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. did and what the Prophet saw so. people doing and he was happy with it so I in this series and every single cue card here this is called a cue card by the way every single paper that I've got in my hand here is a hadith from the Prophet وسلم, and all of them are authentic you have to be very careful because somebody will say well the Prophet وسلم, said something but it might not be true so you always have to make sure that what you hear is true right so now what we're going to do is we've got different ahadith talking about different parts of Ramadan. You are asking about taraweeh, you are asking about starting the fasting, uh, suhoor, ending the fasting, iftar, and we've looked about the last 10 nights in Ramadan. There's so many different things about Ramadan, there's so many different aspects and parts of Ramadan. So what we're going to do with every single class, we're going to look at one part of Ramadan. So it becomes easier for you kids to understand what Ramadan is. And easy for other kids to understand and their parents are explaining I'm sure their parents are explaining them and they're doing a very good like, job of what Ramadan right is now. yeah I'm a very good parent right now as well thank you but uh, we've got a hadith which help us all parents and children alike now first hadith the Prophet وسلم, said start fasting now you have to remember the English in, in here it might not be that might not be that brilliant for you to understand so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna read exactly what it says so that you can understand what the hadith says because this says observe psalm what does observe mean mm -hmm. observe observe means to look doesn't it okay so let me just change the wording and make it easier for you start fasting when you see the new moon when you see the new moon and if you do not see the new moon then complete the month of Sha'ban 30 days. 31. Complete the month of Sha'ban 30 days. Right, let me just. 31 put this. days. No, no, no. There's no such thing as 31 days in Islamic calendar. Let me just put that there. Right. Okay. Hadith number one. What does it say again? Start fasting. When you see the new moon. When you see the new moon. So now, what did we do on. Thursday night and Friday night. We didn't look at the new we moon. We didn't. We were supposed to look at the new moon. But what people were doing around the world were looking in the sky to see if they can see the new moon. And if you see the it's new moon, up. right, how many months are there in the year? Muharram, oh. Safar, Rabi al Awwal, Rabi al Thani. These are the months in Islam. Jumad al Ula, Jumad al Ukhra, Rajab, and Sha'ban, right. Sha'ban, the Prophet Sha said, Muhammad, sorry, stop doing that. Sha'ban, the Prophet said in this hadith here, count it 29 days. When you get to 29 days, look for the new moon. If you see the new moon, Ramadan has begun. If you don't see the new moon, then count Sha'ban as 30 days and then start Ramadan. Do you understand? 
So now what that means is that when we go out looking for the moon and people are asking, has Ramadan been sighted yet? Has the new moon been sighted yet? Has Ramadan started yet? Every year, I remember last year as well, you were a little bit confused. That when is Ramadan going to start? Why can't you tell me what day it's going to start? Because we don't know. We have to wait for the new moon. And if we see the new moon, then we will start it. If we don't see the new moon, then we have to count how many days? 30. 30. Good. And it's the same for ending Ramadan. It's the same for ending Ramadan. We go out looking for the new moon. For what's the next month after Ramadan? Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan, Shawwal. Yeah, so now Shawwal, the first of Shawwal is Eid day. The first of Shawwal is Eid day. So on the 29th night of Ramadan, Muslims all around the world will be looking for the new moon. And if they don't see the new moon, how many days of Ramadan will they be? 30. Excellent. So now, Again. the month begins by looking at the new moon. Right. Once the month has begun, what happens? Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. What did the Prophet ﷺ say? When the month of Ramadan starts, the gates of Jannah are opened and the gates of the hellfire are closed and all of the shaitans, the devils and the evil shaitans that roam around the earth, they are all chained up. Now the Arabic of this hadith is actually a bit more stronger than that. And I'll explain why. The Prophet wasallam said, when the month of Ramadan begins, so now once the moon has been sighted, or when it's 30 days Shaban over, what happens? the doors of jannah are not just open not just like that it's not open it's open wide open wide so like the and door's broken off well no nothing's broken in jannah but i get what your point is it's open wide it's not just a little bit open so yeah come in if you want it's open wide come in foot to the like of this. and then he says about the hellfire yeah. what did you Opposite. think that means it's not just closed but it's shut, closed, slammed, locked, tight, gated, tight, tight. shayateen, and the shaytans are locked up and chained up. What do you think this hadith means? And and shaytan trying to go like this. Yeah, okay. Shaytans try to go like this. Okay. He's trying to punch. Why are the doors of Jannah opened? As soon as the as soon as the and the night begins on the 29th night or the 30th night. The doors of Jannah are open. And there's another hadith which has not been mentioned here. A caller calls out from Jannah. Anybody who wants to enter, quick enter. Anybody who doesn't want to enter, at least for this month, stop doing bad deeds. If you don't want to enter, fair enough. But at least for this month, stop doing bad deeds. Anybody who wants to enter, hurry up and enter. Here's your chance. The door's open right now. You've got 29, 30 days. So now this hadith means... That from Allah's mercy and kindness towards us, the doors of Jannah are opened and there is anything that you do in this month could make you enter into Allah's Jannah. Allah might like the things that you do so much throughout the whole year or even especially in this month that Allah will say, you know what, that person is going into Jannah and I'm going to write his name down from the people of Jannah and he's going to be saved from the hellfire. That's why the doors of Jannah are opened. And the doors of the of the of the hellfire are not only just shut, but they are slammed shut and locked, and the shayateen are locked up. Die. But don't we see evil things that are happening on earth? We talked about that before, didn't we? What this means is, shaitans are still on earth. Bad things are still happening on earth, but there are some types of shaitans which are worse than others. And the worst type of shaitans are those who float around the earth. They float around the earth and they try to spread their mischief. Like and those space. are, huh? Space. Yeah, like like a it's wind, satellite. like kind of, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But they they're worse than that. They go everywhere. They might come into your dreams. They might come into your room while you are sleeping. They, they might, might go into your eyes. They might they might when you yawn. When you're it's yawning, they might come into your body. Well, Allah protect us. But these shayateen, they're locked up in this month. You know why? Because Allah doesn't want them. To make you lazy. Allah doesn't want them to make you have bad thoughts. So that's the type of shaitan that makes you lazy. Kind of, kind of. Not all of it. Not all the time, but kind of. They are the worst what? forms. They are the worst forms. 
So now Allah has locked up those shaitans for us. Why? Because Allah wants us to go forward and enter into his Jannah. Look, he's holding us, he's holding the enemy back for us. If somebody, imagine there's a person who's trying to hit you all the time and you're trying to defend yourself all the time, right? But imagine now somebody says, listen, I'm grabbing your enemy, now run! What would you do? Run. You would run away. Imagine there was a lion in front of you and you're scared of the lion and you're just tiptoeing, you're tiptoeing. But then the lion keeper comes in the zoo and says, look, I'm holding the lion back. Leave the museum or leave the zoo, should I say, not the museum. Leave the zoo. What would you do? Would you just still stand there or would you think, no, here's my chance, let me go. That's exactly similar to what this hadith is saying. Right, last hadith for today. <sighs> The Prophet ﷺ said, In Jannah, there are eight gates. How many gates are there to enter Jannah? Oh, yeah. Eight. Now don't think, oh, well, there's only eight doors. How's everybody going to fit? <laughs> the Prophet ﷺ said, From one side of the door to another side of the door is more than a hundred years worth of travel. That's just one door of Jannah. And those are the doors that are made wide open for us right now. Right, but now the Prophet ﷺ said that there are eight doors, but there's one door which is called Arrayan. What's it called? Arrayan. Through Arrayan, the people who used to fast will enter Arrayan on the Day of Judgment. So now we have three ahadith. Number one, how does Ramadan begin? How does Ramadan begin? New moon sighting. New moon sighting, or, or if there's no new moon sighting, um, thirty. Thirty days. Good. Right. That's number 29. one. Twenty nine. Twenty nine is when you see the new moon. If you do not see the new moon, if you do not see the new moon, one second, then you complete thirty. Now this is important in Islam. Go on. Good. Go on. Go on. What's your question? Okay. In Islam, the night comes before the day. In Islam, the night comes before the day. So we are fasting our second fast. But tonight is going to be the third night. Third day. Third night, tonight. The night comes before the day. So after Maghrib, the next day has begun. Oh. Do you get it? So tonight, Maghrib will be the third night. Tomorrow, what fast are we going to have? The third fast. Tomorrow night is going to be what night? Fourth. The fourth night. The day after is going to be what fast? The fifth. Like, no, the fourth. The fourth fast. The night comes before the day. Okay? So when the, the, the new moon has been sighted, that's the first night of Ramadan. And then the next day is going to be the next day in Ramadan. So now we've looked at how Ramadan begins. Either it's 29 or 30 in Sha'ban. And then Ramadan begins. We also have learned from the second hadith here that the Prophet وسلم, is that we will enter into Jannah if we do good deeds and Allah wants us to stay away from the hellfire and that the shayateen are being locked up so that we can become good and do better and those people who fast there's a, a door that's going to call your name on the day of judgment. Ooh. Saleh, come through me. You used to fast in the dunya. This is your door. Go through this door. The fasting door. The fasting door. We ask Allah to give us iman and ihtisab. Say ameen. May Allah give us taqwa. May Allah save us from the hellfire and give us jannah. Hada wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Press it.